Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another Peaceful Ambition video. Today, guys, is a mother edition. So today we're going to be talking about, what else? Mothers. baby aka cohorts aka ak with me today and you know i brought her with me aka, oldest. AKA also known as ak oldest yeah like also known as my oldest also known as the one that actually made me a mother so there is no one better other than Tayden, but Tayden wasn't interested, so it's okay. So I have a carriage there's no one better that I can bring on my platform to talk about mothers. So Today, me and Carol will be discussing, um, you know, what it is to be a mother, what she thinks it is to be a mother. And, you know, I want to ask her, like, what type of mom does she plan on being? You know, just having a general conversation about mothers and, you know, me kind of seeing where her head is at when, you know, in the future and everything. So, like I said, guys, I love bringing her on camera. I love bringing her, you know, just having conversations because we don't only have conversations on camera. We have conversations all the time. And I love our conversations. So, I just thought that it would be really good to just bring her in you guys can hear her intake on everything before we start talking guys i want to make sure that you guys know that i read all the comments and i try to come back to you guys keep on commenting down below make sure y'all share this and also ring that bell if you're not already subscribed subscribe. and guys not only subscribe to me peace and ambition but also subscribe to miss akira go ahead take it away um subscribe to my youtube channel at akira's view on youtube um and guys also when i hit 1k we are going to celebrate what well, i'm not gonna tell you guys we're going live i'm just gonna tell you yes. guys that once Akira hits 1,000 subscribers, we will be going live. We're going to have like a little party. So guys, make sure you go over to Akira's View, subscribe to her, tell a friend to subscribe. We are almost there. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so first, let's just start the conversation. We're talking about um, Akira. What do you think a mother is? Or other than a person that birthed children, what is a mother to you? So mother to me is like, a supportive companion that you can rely on and she is always caring she is um, motivative and well that's just describing my mother Aww, okay keep going but I think that's what a mother um, should be like or what a mother is like um, I don't really know but that's okay. why I think Okay, well, you know, I love that answer and I appreciate you saying that, you know, you're basically describing me because that's who I try to be. You know, growing up, my mom, you know, she always tried to motivate me in different things that I wanted to try. Guys, I did karate. I was a ballerina. Um, yeah, I did anything that I really wanted to try. And my mom and also my dad, but my mom made sure that I tried those things. And if I loved it, I loved it. If I didn't like it, you know, she was like, okay, well, maybe we could try something else. So, you know, I feel like a mom should be motivating, not only to just her children, but especially to her daughters. Because when you grow up, you're going to be a black woman and you're going to have children. So I feel like being a mother, motivation is really key because you need to teach your children how to motivate their children and so on and so forth because you don't want to have just, you know, your family or just have a um, generation of just people that don't love each other that's not able to motivate. Not only do I want to motivate you guys, I want to mo motivate my children. So, you know, I try to do that in every aspect. Yeah. So, thankfully, my mom was there for me to motivate me and push me to try different things and to just be the tiara and explore all over. I also tried that with my children. You said that mothers are also caring. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I agree with that too. I feel like mothers should be caring because yeah. you know they they care for you they have you they may be a little softer than daddies right daddies sometimes yes yeah, sometimes because i get crazy too but <laughs> but you know i did i try to be that caring one i try to be the person that you know they can always run to even if they are in trouble you know either way they have we have to have the conversation and caring is just one i don't even think that's like a mother trait that i try to care i think i'm just caring overall so stop crazy so so that's really good that you that you said that you know and as a mother also guys i feel like um being able to communicate right yeah being able to communicate you know because mothers are 
always doing a million and one thing. So sometimes being a mom, it's okay to say, okay, now Kara, you're nine. I need you to be able to do this for me. Tayden, you're seven. I need you to be do the do to do this for me. You know, a lot of times mother are seen mothers are seen to be superheroes, which sometimes I feel like I am a superhero, especially when I'm doing this and doing that and helping this and helping yeah, that like, person. Like the baby is crying, like mm -hmm. she's hungry, and then we're trying to do our work in the middle of the day and stuff. It's just crazy it's a lot it is a lot and you know and daddy's at work yeah so I'm, I'm by myself a lot of times and, and you know during those times when everything seems so hectic and I feel like just going in the room and just taking a nap I have to breathe and I just have to remember that you know these children are not just some random children from the streets these children are a part of me and since I love myself so much I know that I had to put in the dedication and even more love in these children because they're just in the beginning stages you know the things that I experienced they haven't even experienced yet so me as a mother I had to build them strong I had to put in that extra overtime and you know if I got to sit down with her and read a whole book or a whole chapter so we can answer these questions right we do it right yeah yeah if Tayden needs me to do some math and I don't understand it we're gonna look it up we're gonna learn it together so I just feel like as a mother you know when you do become a mother not saying that you can't be yourself because that's that's a totally different video and story but you have to learn how to manage yourself as well as manage being a mom because I'm Tierra, but I'm also a mom. I'm not just mom Tierra. I'm still myself as an individual. <laughs> and I try to teach my children that too. So, you know, sometimes taking a step back and being to yourself or being able to communicate properly to your children, especially when they're older, is really important. And it really helps not only you, but it helps them to be more responsible. So, I think that's a really good point. And by the way, oh, mm -hmm. go ahead. And by the way, both of my parents um, encourage me, my brother, and my sister, well, Tanya's like one. She's a baby. Yeah. Um, both of them encourage us to be neat and stuff, and really good. And I just wanted to say that because they both encourage us very much. That's good. But yeah, we have to encourage her because, like I said, soon she will be an adult. She will have her own household, so she needs to learn how to take care of her household. So that's a, that's. Thank you for bringing up that point also. Okay, Kara, so my next question that I have for you is, do you think it's hard being a mommy? I think you kind of answered it, but do you think it's hard being a mommy? Yeah. Why? Why do you think it's hard? Especially, well, I think it's hard because, especially if you have a lot of children, you have to be running all over the place you have to have you have to pay extra money for all of their clothes and their supplies <laughs> mm -hmm. um you it's have true. to um like this is what me and my brother do like if someone gets something the other one wants something yes you have to always make it fair for them i guess right to say. imagine and if it was like five or six of you guys oh, oh i would my go crazy gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um and you have and sometimes like when you get a new baby, um, like the older ones kind of get, well, this is what I did. Cause I was the oldest of the one, Tayden and Tamani was mm -hmm. born. I was kind of jealous because I, I didn't get attention. No. That, but I did get attention, but like the attention was on the baby. More right, so well babies because, are a lot of work. You yeah. see that now, especially with having Talani around like all of us have to chase after her sometimes. It's not just one person. You know, I can't do it by myself. So, you know, if it was a lot of you guys, it would be definitely a lot of work. And you know what? Being a mom is probably one of the hardest jobs that I've ever had in my life. And I, you know, I'm still working the job, but I don't see it as a job. I see it as more like a calling or more of my purpose, honestly. I love you guys so much. And even when I want to I can't do it because you guys are my babies. You guys are the reason why I want to breathe and wake up in the morning. So being a mom is super duper hard. Even if you guys weren't from me, you guys were adopted, found you guys on the street or whatever the case is. Being a mom, being a provider, being a person that takes care of another person and watch them being raised or whatever the case is, is a hard job. And I give moms, I give grandmoms, I give aunts, uncles, or whoever it is, not even just females right now. I give you guys props for us raising these children because it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Yes, it is a lot of work, but when you love it, you love it. Things just come easy, you know. No matter how many children I have, I'm gonna love them all the same and just keep on pushing on. But 
I have no more. Okay, <laughs> next question, Miss Akira. So I want you to tell me, when you get older, I know you can't predict the future, but when you get older, can you tell me what type of mom you want to be for your children? The first thing I'm going to say is fun. Fun, okay. <laughs> so why did you want to say that first? Because I'm not going to be one of those, I'm not saying none of you guys are, but I'm not going to be a mom that's just lame and doesn't really do anything like when it's summer summer is the best time of the year like right, we gotta go have fun <laughs> yeah and and i just sleep all day while my kids yeah. are just dying to go do something yeah that's kidding. unfair oh i'm tired <laughs> no yeah. i i i'm gonna be really fun. okay so you're gonna be a fun mom okay yeah, that's not cool. too fun not too fun okay and I'm also going to be a strict mom, but not so you're gonna be fun too strict. strict. Fun I want to see how she balances out. Yeah. Fun, strict, and I'm gonna be a cool mom. I'm gonna be a cool mom. Okay. Oh, she's gonna be a cool uh, mom. Cool. So, do you think I'm any of those things? Uh, yeah, you're all three. Oh. I was, I was kind of scared. I was kind of scared. <laughs> and you know what? Bring that fun, guys. I have fun with my children. Like, oh, we wow. do a lot of stuff together. Um, when I was pregnant, it killed us because I couldn't do a lot of things that we usually do. We couldn't go ice skating last winter. Um, we couldn't, you know, things that I would want to jump in with them to do, I couldn't do because I was pregnant. But now that I'm not pregnant, <laughs> it's well, back on. But COVID yeah. kind of messed up everything, too. But, but when she was pregnant, sorry. Um, when she was pregnant, we did go to Volcano Bay for Tatum's breakfast. Yeah, we still try to do things that, yeah. you know, they can still enjoy. Because I also, she took the words out of my mouth, I also, well, I wouldn't say fun would be the first thing that I would worry about. But fun is really important because, like she said, you can't be a parent or be a mom that's just want to sleep all day and just want to, you know, be in your world and just think that your children are going to be happy. No, children go through things too. Children want to go and explore, but they have to go and explore. That's why I try to do things that's fun, even if it is just for the sake of wearing them out. I don't care. Like, if I'm able to, if we can go outside and fly a kite, go outside and race, go outside and take a walk or something like that just to get their blood pumping and they feel like it's fun, then we're going to go do it. Money doesn't mean that, you know, oh, I, can, I don't have money, I can't do this. No. Buy a dollar bingo set. Go outside and pop some popcorn and play bingo outside. Go fly kites. Go find something to do. There's always something that you can do to connect with your children. That's more so what I try to do when we're having fun. We try to connect, try to create memories because that means so much to me. So fun is definitely a key thing when you're having kids. Like you said, you can't be fun too much because when you are fun too much, sometimes children get carried away. Take but that's just children. Too. Take advantage, right? But that's just children. But that's when you have to know how to draw the line and know that, hey, I'm still mommy no matter what. But we can still have fun and we can still create these memories together. So I, I really, really like that, Akira. I got a fourth thing, too. Okay, number four. Go ahead. The fourth thing is definitely... It has to be. This should be the first thing, but okay. I don't know why I didn't say it. Motivative. I, I'm going to be really motivated. Especially mm -hmm. if I have literally all girls. <laughs> you have to be motivated. Yeah. Because this world is going to tear you down, baby. And I tell you that all the time. When you're feeling bad about something, what do I say? You say, um. I say, you got to be what? You got to be strong. You got to be strong. You got to be tough. You have to be tough to be because, a woman. yes, you have to be a strong woman, especially when you're a mom. Because when you are, I'm going to tell you this now, and you're a little young, but you're going to figure this out later. When you are a mom and there, I mean, hopefully you don't, you won't have to go through these times, but I went through it and I'm pretty sure other moms go through it. There's a time in your life when you're a mom and you feel like you're not being the best mom that you can. Not because you're not being a good mom, it's because you want to provide so much more for your for your children and your family. And sometimes that can make you, that can psych you out to think that you're not being the best mom that you can. I know I went through that. I can't provide, I can't do this. I, my children can't do this like the other children. And it makes me feel bad. But I want you to remember when you have those moments and you feel within yourself, you're not being the best mom that you can. Remember that money doesn't mean anything. Happiness. Yeah, money doesn't mean happiness. Sometimes providing means just having a hug. Oh, thank you. Providing means having a hug or having a conversation. Yeah. I had to learn that 
you know, when they were younger, I always wanted, like, we like to have fun. I always wanted to take them places. I always wanted to do stuff. But then I had to come to realize when I didn't have money and I couldn't take them anywhere and I still wanted to have fun, it's okay to go outside and kick the ball around. It's okay to spend the time just spending time and having conversations and getting knowing, getting knowing them on an individual base. So time is important. And just remember, like she said, motivating, being motivating and being understanding, I think that that's also important too, right? Yeah. Being understanding because, you know, children can be misunderstood easily and it can just mess them up and then they'll become misunderstood adults. So, you know, my children are feel the need to communicate or express themselves and they don't know how. You know, I, I even say like, do you need personal time? Yeah. Do you want do you want personal time and then later you can talk to me? Or, you know, what's going on? I try to get it out of them yeah. because I want them to be able to express themselves because it's so yeah. important to me. And I also have a thing, but it's not like about being mom. Go ahead, you Since can add it. I'm the biggest sister, like I'm the oldest sister. Mm -hmm. If you guys are the oldest, you know the, the show that I have to go through. I was the oldest. She's the, the oldest. oldest right. And... I have to get annoyed by my siblings 24-7. 24-7. Tayden is really annoying, and Talani is a baby, so it's like the annoyance doubled, especially her crying. Well, that has nothing but. to do with motherhood. That's more like sisterhood, <laughs> but that's just all part of it, guys. And Well, actually, it does have to do with motherhood because while they're annoying her, they're annoying me, and she's annoyed by them, which is just a whole circle of everything annoying but yeah but that's neither here or there mothers go through that all the time like i say even when i want to i can't because you guys are my baby so that just goes back to it but guys we're going to wrap this up we just wanted to have a quick conversation on mothers i hope you guys enjoyed our conversation thank you so much akira for being part of peaceful ambition of course you already know you're part of the peaceful tribe um do you want to add anything else yes make sure to like comment share subscribe I don't know what you guys are commenting, but comment anything, something. comment anything that you yeah. want to add below. Even if it's just Happy Mother's Day yeah. or anything. And guys, whoever's a mother out there, Happy Mother's Day to you guys. Motherhood is not the easiest, but it's definitely the most blessful thing that I have ever done in my life. And if I can do it all over again, have my children all over again, I definitely would because they make my life complete. I'm not going to lie. And Miss Talani is a new baby, but I couldn't imagine my life without her. So I am so thankful of all my children and every blessing, every moment that's given to me. And I'm pretty sure you mothers are too. So thank you guys so much. Make sure y'all follow us. Um, the Wise Family Five. The Wise Family Five on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Akira's View on YouTube and Peaceful Ambition. Don't forget to hit up my girl Simone, and Home with Simone, Boss Life Your Trucker, my boy. Subscribe, guys. And um, also, for all you kids out there, even if you're like in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, make <laughs> sure you always, yeah, kids. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> make sure you always appreciate your mothers, um, no matter what no matter what, if they're your bi biological parent or not. Mm -hmm. um, just if they take care of you, like, really well, like my mommy and my daddy do. Aww. <laughs> well, thank you, Akira, and thank you, everybody else. This is Peaceful Ambition. We out. Bye-bye.